What's up, guys? This is Scott from Gonzo Sightseeing, and today I'm going to show you how to turn the Pulsar 23 into an 8-voice drone synth, a.k.a. the Lyra 2.0. Secret level! First thing we're going to do is we're going to use these four drum modules and drone them using this constant 10 volt voltage pin. And we're gonna bring that into the bass drum trigger first. And now we have our first drone. We can use the tune knob to adjust the note. We can use the drive, add a little distortion. Next, we're gonna bring the 10 volt pin into the hi-hat trigger. And now that's very noisy to um, make this a nice, smooth voice. We're going to take the high pass filter resonance, turn it all the way up, take the tune knob, bring it all the way down. And now we have a nice high drone synth. Instead of clogging up the 10 volt pin, we're going to bring the uh, that signal just from the trigger and just daisy chain it into the snare drum trigger. That is also noisy, and the trick with this one is we're going to bring the bypass, uh, I'm sorry, the band to pass filter uh, resonance all the way up, and uh, there we have another voice. down and we're going to work on our next four voices here and those are going to come from the Sheas module and the LFO and we're going to be using these four attenuators. Okay so let's go with the Sheas module first and use one of these four outputs. Um, all four of these outputs will work. Um, they're all crazy in their own way. I'm going to pick the 2-bit and I'm going to bring it into an attenuator. And out from the attenuator, we're going to go into the main mix pin up here. Whoa. And now to, um, so the attenuator is going to adjust our volume. And there we have the uh, Sheas doing its thing. And we want to bring the frequency up to get a nice solid. There we are. This is our fifth voice. This is in the middle on 16. You can bring it over to the left to the 63, and it's going to sound like a crazy, like, 8-bit crush, crazy, like, NES glitch kind of thing. Or uh, you could go over to the 217 setting. It gets even wilder. How does this thing exist? I don't know, but I'm so happy it does. If you're on the fucking crazy long waiting list, I feel your pain going to bring it back to the 16. But if you are on the waiting list and you're watching this, just know that when you do finally get the email from Soma and you actually finally get your hands on this thing, it will feel like basically like the feeling that you had when you were a kid and like you wake up and it's Christmas Day. It's going to be like, like 10 of those all packed in one. Okay, 
but seriously, let's get back to business. So I'm going to take another output of the, um, the Shayas module, and I'm going to bring it into another attenuator. And I'm going to go out. So now we don't want to go back into the main mix because it'll be the same exact note as what this first one is playing. So we're going to bring it over here into the effects module. And there's two amazing inputs on this thing. I digress shortly. These two pins, you can plug any instrument into these by putting an instrument into the back using the quarter inch jacks here and bringing your instrument like a guitar or, or whatever, anything. Um, into these, this delay or these reverb pins, and you can do some absolutely wild stuff. Uh, but anyway, back to the, uh, our, our sixth drone note. I'm going to bring this into the delay pin. Bring the volume up. And now uh, we want this switch all the way to the right on pitch, and we can use this tune knob. And there's our sixth note. And we can bring this one up. LFO, and we're going to bring, uh, we've got two outputs here. Uh, we have a square and a sawtooth, and we're going to bring, uh, firstly, the square. Let's bring it into an attenuator and bring the attenuator out into the main mix. And uh, you'll notice that um, if you turn this up, um, there's not going to be any volume because now this main mix pin is also tied in with our um, the one of the Sheas voices so the volume is going to be codependent on on each other so we got to turn this up so these two voices are going to get stuck together but that's okay we're still having fun do our eighth voice, and it's going to be from the sawtooth out into our final fourth attenuator. And we're going to bring this into the reverb pin input on the effects module. Okay, now I'm gonna see if I can tune this thing up and um, kind of like the Lyra 8, you gotta, you gotta tune the Lyra 8 before you really dig into getting crazy with it. So uh, let's, let's tune this guy up.
different notes, but with the 8 and you have like an external LFO, I have a Behringer Neutron. You can bring that in. Let's say, let's go do this snare drum. that's enough for now guys thanks for hanging out with me um i really appreciate you watching the video and i hope this inspires um you to make as much noise as you possibly can Rock